Hello traders, welcome to our today's uh, video, Jean here, and in today's video we'll cover the USDN trading opportunity. So if we have watched uh, yesterday's weekly forex forecast video we shared uh, here, uh, we said on the USDN that we are looking for potential uh, retracement uh, back into the discount area and then we will wait for lower time frame reactions such as one hourly uh, time frame in order to target the, the highs uh, up here the buy side liquidity so uh, as you can see this is from the yesterday's video and now we'll go over the uh, the trading charts to uh, see the trading opportunity we had on the uh, USD yen so first of all uh, we'll start with uh, daily uh, time frame and as you can see as we mentioned also in the video uh, uh, in the weekly forex forecast video we uh, said we have this bullish structure as you can see we have all those higher lows market broke to the new highs and uh, we said we are looking for possible continuation to target the buy side liquidity so bullish structure on the daily and then on the four hourly if you have watched the video uh, we said we are looking for this retracement back into the discount area below 50 percent retracement of this move from swing low to the swing high and in this case market moved up almost 90 pips uh, so we said we are looking for a retrace of about uh, 50 pips uh, or more uh, below 50 percentage i mean and uh, then we said we'll wait for lower time frame reaction we needed to see the market structure shift on the lower time frame such as one hourly or 15 minute depend on your trading uh, plan so as you can see market uh, on the uh, market open here uh, market retraced back to the uh, more than 50% retracement in combination with a uh, fair value gap as well between first, second and third candle uh, and also uh, to the previous resistance from last week which turned into the uh, support here as you can see so we have a very powerful confluence uh, zone here we have discount area we have fair value gap and we have previous support turning uh, i mean previous resistance turning into the uh, support here so this was first step to look for potential opportunities here on the usdn then we had nice bounce uh, in the morning uh, we saw uh, also as you can see uh, if we zoom in uh, here on the one hourly uh, this vertical line is the market open on sunday uh, market bounce back up and what we saw uh, before uh, London trading session opened we had nice bearish structure on the one hour as you can see we have all those lower highs um, bearish structure uh, is there and uh, we had this swing high put in so what happened after uh, early morning price as you can see moved lower again formed another lower low and then we had nice bounce of this 50% retracement on the four hourly uh, uh, chart in this discount zone and then what happened after price spiked from this area we had nice uh, market structure shift as you can see uh, we had uh, first candle here then the next candle broke the previous uh, swing high with nice powerful body candle and we had third candle up there so on the breakout we had nice fair value gap zone here between first second and third candle so we mark this level up so when we got this breakout to the upside and market shift uh, we waited for confirmation we wanted to see a retracement back to uh, at least 60 uh, percent retracement between swing low and swing high as you can see market formed two candles on the on the left side two candles on the right side and this swing high was as you can see uh, respected uh, here so uh, once we had this market structure shift to the to the upside and market broke this previous swing high here with nice fair value gap uh, we said we are looking for a possible retracement back to this discount area in combination with fair value gap area uh, retracement back to uh, those levels in the discount uh, area so as you can see what happened after uh, we had nice uh, retracement uh, back market moved uh, and retrace to these uh, levels inside of the uh, loan on trading session uh, but we were waiting uh, because this was outside of our trading uh, timings this was 
in the uh, in the not in the London uh, kill zone uh, so we uh, didn't enter right away we were waiting waiting price bounced to the upset and then we had nice retracement in our uh, New York uh, kill zone session and what happened is interesting because as you can see market retested almost lows of the day from the morning and then we had nice spikes again uh, close to this discount area 60 percentage 50 percentage as you can see and uh, once we uh, saw this spike to the upside and market was here at 60 uh, percentage retracement uh, then of course we have entered it into uh, this long trade so we have entered it at the spike from this discount area in our uh, new york uh, session kill zone uh, stop loss went below the lows so the stop loss was about uh, 10 11 pips uh, and our target was uh, two times the stop loss so in this case market moved up as you can see uh, 22 plus pips to the upside and as you can see in uh, this candle in the huge candle uh, buying pressure here the market actually hit our profit target at those levels at buy side liquidity uh, of course we were happy to uh, close the trade at two times the risk stop loss below the swing lows below the structure entry in the discount area uh, in the on this uh, one hourly market structure shift daily was bullish four hourly bullish and one hourly as well and then market as you can see really reacted quite fast to the upside uh, but uh, we closed the trades uh, we closed this uh, trade at two times the uh, stop loss we could also aim for more as uh, maybe three times or more but uh, to target really those bad liquidity uh, highs up here but uh, we closed the trade at two times the uh, the stop loss uh, because we uh, we were happy with the profits and we uh, decided to close this at uh, those previous uh, highs and uh, we made good decision because market then as you can see uh, reversed and uh, it's close to uh, almost to this area where we have entered it uh, on this uh, setup so yes hope you learned something from this video uh, as always uh, we cover this uh, setup potential setup also in the weekly forex forecast video and that's why we, did, we have traded this one because uh, it was presented there market gave us uh, this setup so we took action based on our trading plan and uh, yes hope you learned something from this video make sure you check it again uh, go again over the daily time frame four hourly time frame one hourly and then of course how we uh, have uh, traded this uh, opportunity uh, today on the usd yen so thanks for watching and we catch up soon take care